Welcome to Pflicht Center. Today I will explain how to solve a number wall. Number walls are most likely not even taught in every school worldwide, but I will anyway give an English explanation now for this concept because it's very nice to teach children how to calculate, how to add numbers in the beginning in a very graphical way. And what number walls are is nothing else than stones, like in a brick wall, and the lowest level of these stones has numbers. And then the only question or the only task there is, is to add these numbers together and write the sum of two stones always in the stone above them. So when in the first row you see a 5 and a 3, then you add these two numbers together and put the result of the addition in the stone above. So 5 plus 3 is 8. And since there are more stones than these two, there's also a 2 here. You can add the 3 and the 2 together and then you get 5 and again you write the 5 in the stone above them. And since this wall is not finished yet, we see here is another stone. We can also add 8 and 5 together again and get 13 so the number wall is finished. And that's the simple concept of a number wall. I'll give you now another example to show you that this can go even further. What you can also do is you can have a number wall where in the first row there's actually a number missing and the second row there is a number suddenly. So the concept stays the same. The sum of two stones should always be written in the stone above them. So here something plus three should be 6, or should equal to 6. And so we know 3 plus 3 is 6, 2 plus 3 would be 5, so that wouldn't be correct, but 3 plus 3 is 6, so we can put the 3 indeed in this stone here. And the rest of the wall can now be solved as before. 3 plus 1 is 4, and 6 plus 4 is 10. And to get this concept even further, we can even have a number wall in which we have two numbers again the first row but the third number we have is in the highest level. The only way to solve this now is either with an equation so what you can do is since the stone in the middle is used twice you can say 8 because this uh, stone is used once plus 2 times this stone plus 1 should be 21 because this number plus this one will give a result here and this plus this should give a result here and when you add these two together, it should be 21, which is why the equation would be 8 plus 2 times uh, this stone plus 1 equals 21. Or what you can also do, and what usually is advised to children that, um, that look at these questions for the first time, is to just try different numbers. So in this case, you could try with, for example, with number 2. So 8 plus 2 would be 10, 2 plus 1 would be 3, but 10 plus 3 wouldn't be enough to be 21. And then children would go on and on, trying other numbers, and finally end up with the number 6, which obviously fits in here, and leads then to 7 and 14 in the stones above, because 8 plus 6 is 14, and 6 plus 1 is 7, and 14 plus 7 is 21. That is the whole concept of number walls. Thank you for listening.